Hey, what up everybody? This is Ken from Ken's Garage. This is my new new bed that I just bought purchased from somebody for $200. It is a short bed or short step side bed. This is what I've wanted at the beginning. Um, if you were to purchase this whole thing new at on LMC, this would cost a lot of money. It's already basically put together. So I just wanted to show you guys all the uh i mean how well kept it is i mean there are some issues with it that i will have to fix so i'll start off like with this side here as we can see there's little little rust spots there that can be i'm going to use like a i don't know like a wire brush on to clean as much as crap off of it i'm gonna clean it up as much as i can you can see a little little spot right here which i am sure i can probably I'm gonna go get a welder and learn, my, teach myself how to weld, and I'm gonna go get some sheet metal and try to get this get this all fixed up. It even has the old lights still, which is kind of kind of neat. Inside, you know, it's all rusted. What do you guys? What do you expect? It's dirty. It's got a bunch of like poop or something in there. Um, one thing also I'm gonna have to do here, where you attach this fender onto the, the actual bed see how it's all messed up and ripped up i'm gonna have to cut all that out of there and i'm gonna teach myself to weld here next few weeks i'm gonna get another piece of steel that that goes across there and this way i can attach it to the side of the bed um starting from the back as you can see it's a it's got the Chevrolet on it um, it connects to right there just fine but on oh a little rust spot there but here it's a little out so you can tell it's kind of twisted a little bit but I can try to untwist it or I can just fasten it and just never open it <laughs> I'll, I'll try something uh, the interior has all the uh, all the bottom pieces which I'm going to replace I'm going to replace all these cross beams here all of them because they're all rusted out also the little piece this pit goes up like that I'm going to grind this out and then I'm going to weld some steel so like angle iron or some more steel to replace that uh, probably do that on the other side too or some up there this looks actually okay or up here so I'm just gonna do small pieces of it and I'm gonna get rid of all this this is all junk the front piece is in excellent shape there's a little rust in the bottom and again on this fender there's no dents or nothing made no major dents just uh, you know well, I should say there's a couple little scratches here. No big deal. Obviously, it used to be a blue bed. It used to be a blue. The steps on this side is actually in good shape. A little bit of rust. Um, and again, on this side, it's the same thing here. All the way, all the way uh, across. I'll have to weld a piece of like angle iron or something across there to... This way it um, will attach attach to to the bed. So, yeah, see how this is actually in good shape? And it's already put together. All I have to do is basically weld up a couple pieces, grind off a lot of the rust, clean it up real good, and uh, put it together. Put a coat of paint, uh, paint on it and be good to go. What do you guys think, guys? For $200? I think this is a steel. This saved myself. If I were to buy this bed brand new with all the pieces on an LMC, it would cost me probably around between $2,500 and $3,000. And I spent $200 on this, guys. Excellent deal, I think. Um, so now I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to make a room in the garage. to get, I want to put this in the garage. Or at least set this on top of the the truck just to kind of get it out of the way for now. 
because I'm not going to do anything with it for, for a little while. Not until it at least starts warming up, that's for sure. You can't, can't paint anything when it's this cold. I think it's excellent. Let me some comments in the comment section below. Um, tell me what you guys think. Also, if you uh, like this video, please uh, rate me a thumbs up. Also, I'm trying to boost my subscription level. If you guys wish to subscribe for more content here on Ken's Garage, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys out there.